All right, we need to find the equation of a line um, where we're given two points initially. And we wanna write our equation in both point slope form and slope intercept form. So the first thing we need for either one of these forms is we need the slope of our line. I've gone ahead and I've written out our equation for the slope, M is our slope. It's also sometimes referred to as the rate, or we have this nice formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We use the rise of a run more so if we're trying to graph it, or if we're given a graph and trying to locate the slope. Okay, so to fill into this, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and use these points, and I'm gonna label this first one as x1, y1, and the second one as x2, y2. So to calculate that slope, we're gonna do y2, negative 23 minus y1, negative six, over x2, nine minus x1, negative eight. Now we can do some simplifying down here. The subtraction of negative is equivalent to adding in both the numerator and the denominator. A Little bit more simplifying down here. I think we have negative 17 over positive 17, which will work out to be a negative one. Now that we have our slope for our line, let's try to find the point slope form. So with the point slope form, we'll go ahead and write out our formula. That's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So filling in, I'm gonna use the exact same um, x1 and y1 um, from that point up in the very top right. So I'm gonna say y minus, my y1 value is negative six equals the slope m that we just calculated is negative one, and then x minus our x1 value we said was negative eight. Now we can probably get a little bit better answer that we probably wanna leave by cleaning up the double negatives. So we can say y plus six equals negative one x plus eight. Okay, and that's our point slope form. Now our slope intercept form, Slope intercept form is where we have y equals mx plus b, where m is still our slope, but b is going to be our y intercept. Because neither one of the points that's given to us is a y intercept, would have an x value of zero. Um, what we can do is we can rearrange our point slope form. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and distribute that negative one. So we have y plus six on the left-hand side. We can say negative one x minus eight over on the right-hand side. And now all we have to do is isolate the y, get it by itself. So we need to move the six to the other side. I'll subtract six from both sides. And we have y equals negative x minus 14. So that's gonna be our slope intercept form of our line. So um, hopefully not too bad. Calculate that slope and then use whichever format you need to uh, to get your solution. All right, good luck.